Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Otter Outdoorsman and I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my first aid kit. Um, this is a first aid kit that I bring out with me whenever I go out in the woods, whenever I go out for hikes, uh, whenever I go camping. Um, it's not a majorly advanced first aid kit, but it tends to get me through most injuries that I've, I see or help me deal with most things that I face. Um, I do tend to modify it depending on the trip, and um, that is kind of how I go about doing it. Uh, but let me bring you in closer, and I'll show you what the contents of my first aid kit is. Okay, so everything I have is stored in a Hidden Woodsman Possibles pouch. Um, I love these pouches. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on these. Uh, I've actually been waiting to do this video first and basically been waiting to test out my first aid kit and get kind of comfortable with it before I showed off this video, before I did a review on the Possible's pouch. Um, but this is what I store my first aid kit in. It's great because it has this handle that I actually can keep towards the top of my backpack and Basically, I can, or um, I can basically grab it, and I, or I actually keep them in side pouches of my overnight pack, and I can pull out at any pretty much ease. And because it's wide and open, I can pretty much anything on my access. As I said, it's a pretty basic first aid kit. Um, one of the things I have, mylar blanket. You can get these pretty cheap online. Um, I got a pack of seven of these. I got a large pack of these for pretty cheap a while back. Um, I, bought, I bought about 10 of these for about seven bucks a while back. Um, basically, I have a packet of gauzes of a few different sizes. And here are some sterile gauzes. Um, I like keeping these with me. I have a bunch of different band-aids, which I actually kind of want. I may want to replenish this, but I have a bunch of different band-aids. Um, I love carrying band-aids with me because they're great for any just random scratch. Um, and there's a few people who have kind of joked at me with band-aids, um, basically saying, why don't you just use a band-aid, uh, duct tape and a bandana. But, honestly, for keeping a small cut clean, these are literally the best things for you. And in that same thing, I also keep alcohol wipes. Great for sanitation and can be also used to start a fire if that's what you're looking for, but I just keep them for sanitation. Um, you can use them to clean tools, clean your hands. It's uh, isopropyl, so don't drink it. Very sound to acetate. Uh, but I have a bunch of different sized band aids. Um, I'm going to go through this later because I've been I have had to use a few of them, but. And the band-aids can also be used as, I mean, the gauzes can also be used with the band-aids, but if I do need a little extra adhesive, I do keep, or I just, I actually recently added a bit of duct tape. Um, this is a very recent addition, um, but it's there as a backup. Um, mostly just for the gauzes, but I also have wrapping as well. Um, I go for the ones that have these because I personally do not like the ones with the, the self-adhesive. Um, I've had a lot of bad experiences with those, so I looked pretty hard for these. Um, I ended up finding these online. Um, and... I use the, I keep a bunch of these on hand or on the house, and I keep one of these in the first aid kit. Uh, for some bigger scratches, I keep a clotting sponge. 
uh, just if I have a, a kind of a bigger incident, but I don't keep more than just this in there for a bigger incident. And I do keep the tourniquet in my first aid kit as well uh, for even bigger bleeds. But as far as big instances go, this is kind of what I have. Now, if I have to work on someone else or myself and I need to keep my hands sanitary, I do keep rubber gloves. Um, I do keep a good wad of these because I also do like keeping them around when camping. I actually do pack these in my food kit as well because these are the best for handling raw meat and keeping your hands uh, salmonella free. So, it's always good to have a few of these thrown around your pack. A couple of rubber gloves. Pick them up online or at your local uh, hardware store or CVS. I buy them online. I constantly keep a, a giant box of these around the house. <clears throat> a couple of things I keep. Um, hand warmers. Uh, two packs of these uh, for the cold nights. I keep them in there. I been trying to keep cool compresses in there but because most of them are uh if they get crushed they activate and most stuff in my pack keep basically do occasionally get crushed i can't really do that um i don't keep a bandana in here but i do tend to keep a bandana in my kit um so if i need to kind of put some kind of have something cool i can grab my bandana um, I don't keep my bandana in here because sometimes my bandana, my bandana tends to not get pretty sanitary. Um, so I do keep some medication in here. My medication does change, but I keep, um, I have one of these from, I think the company is Human Gear. Um, I got this in a Karen box and I actually found it was perfect. So I keep some medication, keep some allergy medication in here. Um, but I also ended up getting some refills for uh, first aid kits so I can keep things like ibuprofen and Advil. Um, which are great if you get, if you need them. Um, but I also keep some allergy medication in there as well because sometimes I do need them. But this is actually amazing for keeping uh, any medication, any kind of generic medication you need, um, or any like pain medication you need. Um, I found it's great for that. Um, and I just got this in one of my Karen boxes. So I like keeping this around and I tend to get a lot of acid. Um, so I keep a bunch of, uh, Pepto, dry Pepto, things in my first aid kit as well. I've had a lot of bad experiences in the bush um, on hiking trips where I didn't have this and I needed this. Uh, forewarning, if you do carry this out and you've never used this before, it turns your poop black. Just a heads up. Uh, one of the last things, I do keep some condoms in my pack. Uh, they have a lot of uses. Uh, they can be used to keep uh, wounds dry. Um, they can also be used as that, but I tend to mostly just use. I just tend to keep them on at, for those reasons because at this point, because of how much I've been carrying them around like this, they wouldn't be used as their original purpose. Um, but they're great. They have a lot of multiple uses. So that's pretty much what I have. Uh, let me set you back up and we'll, do the, we'll set up the outro. So, as I said, it's not a super complex first aid kit. Um, it's not a major trauma kit. I don't tend to carry a huge amount with me. Um, this is more of a quick make-do first aid kit that will get me through most things that I will come across. Um, most other injuries, I tend to have what I need throughout my kit as well, but this is to get me through what I need. Um, I do modify this occasionally per trip, and also I usually know most times 
with certain trips that I go on. Most of my team or most of my friends also tend to carry bigger kits or similar kits with them as well. Um, I'm not counting on that myself, but I'm making sure that I have a good kit. They also have good kits as well. Now, remember, with kits like this, these kits aren't just for you. I may be good with an axe or a knife, and I don't plan on slipping and hurting myself, but accidents happen. Also, accidents happen with other people. So a first aid kit isn't just for you. It's for other people. And you may come across someone on the trail that's hurt themselves. Or, as what's happened with me, a friend may hurt themselves. Um, I've had to pull out my own first aid kits to help other people. So, have a decent first aid kit on you. Um, this first aid kit is, covers a lot of what I've run across, and then some. So, is it the most advanced kit? No, but it does the trick. I'll try and put some links down to some of the stuff that I have in here um, down below. Uh, a lot of this stuff I've also bought at CVS uh, or other like stores. Um, and I just try and keep a lot of it on hand. But anyways. I'd love to see your guys' first aid kits. Um, so if you guys or tell me what you guys have. Be interested to see. Maybe I'll uh, be able to add, I'll know what to add to mine, or I'll pick up some tricks um, from there. I've been doing this a long time, so I've kind of picked up some stuff, learned what I don't need, learned what I do need, and kind of things like that. But you're always learning. We all are. And you, so, anyways, enough rambling for me. You guys have a good day. Remember, get out in the woods, have some fun. I'm going to be doing that a lot this week. See you guys.